Happy Halloween, Nordin fans. Now Nordin just came off a bye week, and I'm glad they're back in action. So they'll face Temple, okay, in Philadelphia, okay, home of the Eagles. Temple is undefeated, and um. Temple is ranked number 21 and Notre Dame is ranked number 9. Now the original schedule on this game was going to be 2.30. They decided to change it to 7 o'clock game. Okay, 7, 8 central. Okay. Can Notre Dame snapped um, Temple's winning streak? We'll find out. Hopefully, Notre Dame win this damn game. Okay. Let's see here. Really quickly. Because two weeks ago, they beat USC. They won by 10. And Notre Dame is on the road for two weeks in a row. Then they come home November 14th. The last game of the season. November 21st, that's senior day. Hopefully, they win these four remaining games. So we'll find out. I think Timbo has pretty um, decent defense. Not too sure on offense. Now on the other hand, Notre Dame has pretty decent offense. And pretty decent defense. I hopefully, Notre Dame special teams step up. I Hopefully, everyone steps up. Notre Dame. They really need to keep on winning if they want to make the, the playoff format. Right now, no one is mentioning them to make the playoffs. Of course, they're going to make a bowl game, but not the, the important one. So I see you guys later, okay? But before I let you go, go Irish. Okay, there it goes a kick. Again, ready, and boom! Come on, Notre Dame, make some plays. That's pretty good. Let's go, Irish. Let's see what it is. It's halftime, Notre Dame fans. Notre Dame is winning 14 to 10 over Temple. It is a back and forth kind of game. But a bad thing about Notre Dame, too many freaking turnovers in the red zone. Right before halftime, I really thought Notre Dame is going to extend the lead. But, bad communication. It bounced to the defender on Temple. He almost took it to the house. That would be a bad thing. But on the other hand, the quarterback, he took it to the house. 79 yards. That was an awesome moment for any Notre Dame fans who's watching the video right now or whenever I post this video. So Notre Dame drew first blood. 7 to nothing. Then, then Temple got an easy field goal. Okay. Let's see, hold on. I'm trying to give you the status real quick, okay? Okay, score. It was yeah, seven nothing. Then like late in the first quarter it was seven to three. Temple I mean Nording still lead. Then they got a touchdown late in the second quarter, make it 10-7, then late again, in the second quarter, make it 13-10, then they got the extra point, make it 14-10, so made that huge run, so that is a good thing for Notre Dame, status wise, 11-7 uh, in the first downs, Rushing was 119 to 25. They killed him in that in the first half. Passing 134 to 107. 
Notre Dame won that round. Total offense, 253 to 132. How many turnovers do they have? Um, doesn't say. Okay, the quarterback, I forget what his name, for Notre Dame, he was 12 out of 21, two interceptions for a buck 32, no TDs, his longest yard was 31 yards. Um, the receiving, Chris Brown, four receptions for 55 yards, no TDs, no one in a good TD yet. But the guy, um, two TDs for a quarterback. He's doing all the work. Seven attempts for 110. His longest yard was 79 yards. So that is a good thing. See, it doesn't say how many uh, turnovers because this game is not over yet. So, uh, Temple had two turnovers, I think. I don't know. I can't keep track. So, hopefully, Notre Dame will fix their problem during the halftime chat from the coach. Hopefully fix their problem. If not, then it's going to be a total disaster in the second half. So, go Irish, and I'll see you after the game. Hopefully Notre Dame will beat Temple. We'll find out. Hopefully it's not a total blowout. I don't care if Notre Dame blows them out, but I don't want Temple blows out Notre Dame. You get it? Sorry, Temple fans, but this just how I feel. Come on, hopefully it's a good game overall. It might come down to the wire. Down to the wire. Now my hair once again. Go Irish in the second half. They are getting ready for the second half, and Nordim is kicking Babble off. Good kick, Nordim, and it is touchback. Go Irish, yeah. Hubble. Yes, it is over. Nordane wins. They survive. I know. Holy cow. That was close. Watch this replay. Look at that. Almost a turnover. Yes. Thank God Notre Dame won. Thank God Notre Dame won this game. They freaking survived. The final score was 24 to 20. Notre Dame won. Holy cow. This game was a classic game. Okay. Back and forth action. Turnovers. Notre Dame in the first half should put more points on the board, but I didn't. They were awful in the red zone overall. Then late in the fourth quarter, the Notre Dame QB came up clutch. Okay. Fuller, he's the receiver for Notre Dame, caught the damn ball. If he missed it, I guaranteed Notre Dame will lose this game. That is a definitely yes. Then um, Temple had a chance to win this game, but Notre Dame defense came up huge with a nice, awesome pick. This guy came out of nowhere. He just like dove and caught the ball. And after that play, you saw the awesome video footage. Notre Dame had a ball. He like fumbled it or lost it, whatever. He threw it out of bounds. The referee got to make sure the game is officially is over. It is over. So Temple is not undefeated any longer. So that is freaking good. I'm very happy. Notre Dame is 7-1. Temple is 7-1. Um, hopefully Notre Dame move up in the rankings. Their next opponent will be next Saturday 11 a.m. Most likely this game will be moved again like 
this game was. Um, their opponent for next Saturday against Pittsburgh. Okay. Um, I'm just going to do this really quickly and tell you the status. Uh, yeah. Pittsburgh. I think it's the same um, stadium as the Pittsburgh Steelers. I could be totally wrong. Okay, let's see here. Okay, um, the rusher, here's the QB, he had a pretty good game, two TDs, a long yard of 79 yards, so he did not pass, okay, well, excuse me, he passed one time, his percentage was 23 out of 36, two picks, 290 yards, one TD, his long yard was 44 yards, he almost, almost had a 300, 300 game, but he came up a little short. The receivers, um, Chris Brown, six recept receptions, 72 yards, no TDs, 25 yards. Um, Hunter Jr., five receptions for 62 yards, zero picks, zero touchdowns, sorry, and 40 yards. F Fuller, five receptions for six, 46 yards, one TD, that was a game winner for 17 yards. And that's a pretty much it. So, and the defense did a fantastic job. If you're a Notre Dame fan, probably you hate these kind of games when it come down to crunch time, uh, whatever. Um, so right now, I think in my eyes, they're still alive for the playoff format for college football. But if they lose one more, they're out of the playoff format. I mean, of course they're going to make the freaking bowl game, but I really wish they make the college format, playoff format. If it happens this year, that's great. If it doesn't, I'm not going to bitch and complain because they have a pretty decent season. Um, and this quarterback, I think he's a what, sophomore, freshman, junior, I don't know, but he, he's pretty good with his legs. He has great arm strength. And I think Notre Dame University for college is going to be a pretty good years to come so that's about it for me i'm going to wrap this up and um see you next nordic video but before i let you go i hopefully everyone have a great happy um happy um happy um happy um halloween hopefully you stay safe if you have a great party, that's excellent. Stay safe and and all that good stuff. And we don't get that much trick or treaters tonight because a lot of rain earlier tonight. But things happen. We have a lot of leftover candy. So this is your friend here, Rai Rai, is going to sign off. And I see you next Nordic video. Go Irish next Saturday.